Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Millennium Dawn mod. And the last part, we were preparing for our assault on fuck you social liberals on Ethiopia. And we're about to get that. Yeah, that's gonna be soon enough now, is it? Four days, three days. Yes, good. Wait, what? Oh, we caused this. <laughs> okay, never mind. I didn't think that we caused this, but it appears like we did. Okay. And yeah, right, there's a huge Morocco. And there we go. Justification for Ethiopia is done. Let's go. Hmm. I wonder who's gonna attack us for this. Somebody's definitely going to not like what we just did. Algeria. Well, not too worried about Algeria, to be completely honest. Thankfully, we have our navy in the Mediterranean. Wait, did we expect this? No, they. Uh, what? I'm. Why do I have my navy there? I guess because I was worried about Morocco. I don't know. Well, whatever the reason, it's good that it's there because the Algerians have a mightily huge navy. Most of them corvettes, so not very useful. Uh, looks like there is a bit of a storm, but now that it's clear, my aircraft can attack and sink them pretty much freely. Yep, there you go, their entire corvette fleet. Pretty much nothing that it can do. For some reason, my carrier decided to get into very close range. My nine carriers decided to get into very close range. But we're just massacring them so, so easily. Nothing that they could have done, to be honest, with that fleet, considering we have all the naval doctrines unlocked. Okay, so you're up here, right? You were worried about Tunisia, who decided to not attack us. So we shall attack them, because we don't like them. And we're also going to justify on Somalia, because we have a claim on them. That was naval battle. Yes, um, well, we... Did destroy more than that, but it appears like the the game wanted me to <laughs> see less than we did. I don't know. No. Um, yeah, since we are actually hmm, right, you're you're preparing for the naval invasion in Tunisia. Well, how about you prepare for a naval invasion in Algeria? I wonder if Algeria has an army left. Kind of, kind of not. Kind of yes. So, this naval invasion should be enough, to be fair, to destroy the Algerians once and for all. How are our marines in terms of soft attack? They're very good, so... You should have an easy time breaking through. Now it looks like the Ethiopian offensive that they attempted has been paused a little bit. Uh, they do have some forts in the borderlands. Hmm. This is desert, so... Let's attack like that and try to do something. Looks like we can win quite easily, thanks to our glorious Army Aviation Command. And then we can also do a bit of a holding attack on the Capital Garrison Brigade, 2nd Marine Brigade, and the 1st Marine Brigade. Here comes a tank division, but it was routed before it could do anything. In the meantime, looks like Harar is basically free for the taking, so let's go and take it. Also, mm, well, this is a lot of infantry, so no. Oh, it's a mountain. Okay, so we cannot actually attack there. I thought it was a plains province. Never mind. And now we get Harar, so a pretty good prize for us. And we're going to be playing this one safe, trying to lose as the least amount of people as possible. You are staying there. Uh, so they're trying to attack Army Aviation Command, but it's not working. And the enemy has air superiority, of course. They have eight support planes. Now, I should have an airfield nearby. Yes, I do. And I should have planes. So let's get 50 of them. Around. Just avoid these 
six motherfuckers from being incredibly annoying. Wonder what kind of planes they are. Oh well, whatever they are, they're not doing much. There's also Kenya that we're bordering for improving relations with Japan. Interesting. No, attacking a mountain brigade in the mountains is not the best decision I could make. Okay, let's take out these men. And there's a dangerous naval invasion from Algeria. Well, that's gonna help when we launch our own naval invasion. Because that's gonna mean their army being a little bit less well prepared. Wait, hold on. For some reason you guys stopped doing the patrol. Uh, that's partially because some of you are very, very heavily damaged. So can I detach the damaged... Oh no, you are in the task. Okay, good. I thought that you weren't doing that. And there's also an evil... Hold on. Nobody's protecting this port. For some strange reason. And so the Algerians might actually get to land in Sicily. Okay, no, they won't. <laughs> good. That would have been incredibly annoying. Hmm. They're attacking in Harar, and it's apparently France. France is sending in volunteers. Okay. So here comes the French Regiment de Cavalerie Bonnide. So Regiment of Armored Cavalry. And yeah, nothing else. But they sent in a general, Valentin Lagrand, who has a skill of one. So nothing too dangerous. Okay, so now we have the air wing. Although it looks like they stopped their nonsense. So we can uh, avoid sending them in to die of an accident. And then we're going we're to need to take Gondor if we are to win um, against Ethiopia because that's probably a lot of VPs. Well, only one, but considering how many VPs are in Ethiopia, aka not a lot, that's going to be pretty important already. And Harar is going to fall back into our control despite the fact that it fell to the French forces. And looks like there's an enemy mountain division there. Um, they're also trying to counterattack against our forces that are advancing across the border. But that's not going to work. They just don't have the firepower required. In fact, we're going to counter counterattack. And that's also going to not work at all, in fact. China goes to war. On... Ooh, boy. Oh, that's big. That's big, 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 big. China and India. Wow. Okay. And it looks like China's very good opinion with Bangladesh. So I wonder if Bangladesh is going to get drawn into this war in any kind of way. Of course, the borderlands between China and India are a very mountainous region. So it is going to be uh, quite harsh for both sides to gain the upper hand. Although China has the superior air force, our glorious intelligence services tell us. So that should help China very, very greatly. Would this mean that you were flying over and you were getting accidents? Well, just to be safe, the assign you. Hmm. So we're going to take everybody but you, and we're gonna renew the assault. Hong Kong, of course, joins the AEDU, because it's not like they have a choice. Then you move into there. You two, along with you two, along with all of you, along with you two, attack into there. And then you attack into there. This should work. We have some very, very powerful divisions in terms of soft attack. Of course, the mountains is gonna... Uh, 
very, very not good. I didn't think it would be that bad. In fact, the Ethiopians might get a snipe on this province. Of course, I can just redeploy some forces here. And that was my national focus. We're worry fighters. Excellent. And here comes the French being annoying, but I think we can repel them. Now there's a bit of a big problem, and that big problem is the fact that we're now approaching very, very harsh terrain. So we're going to need to be careful with what we do. In fact, we're at... They're basically near the capital, and we've managed to surround the 9th Northern Brigade. Or, well, not entirely surround, which is a bit of a shame. Because that would have been a very good prize. Forcing the surrender of that brigade. And there's some more naval invasions. Well, nothing to worry about. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Seems like up here everything is under the control of everybody. Uh, Cagliari. Cagliari, Cagliari, Cagliari. Cagliari appears to be... Hmm, no. Hold on. Cagliari appears to be unguarded. And my fleet's not doing things. Despite the fact that now they're pretty well... Uh, repaired, so I'll just go ahead and get yourself into search and destroy. Yeah, like that. There's also enemy ships in Central Mediterranean, which is a bit of an annoyance. And here they come. Now we can easily smash them. Hopefully. And we also appear to have naval supremacy for our own invasion? Only 45%? What? I'm guessing that we're going to need to win another naval battle against the Algerians before we get naval supremacy entirely. Uh, how annoying. Let's take him out. And then in the south we have a golden opportunity surround them. Let's try to take it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that, but our troops are incredibly fast, and so we should be able to do that quite easily, and we have a supply base problem. Okay, no problem. I thought it would be a little bit worse, but it isn't. And here, hmm, it's mountains. No, it's hills, so why are we losing? It is unclear to me. There's more naval invasions, of course. And here's the naval battle that we were waiting for. Should be a pretty easy victory. Although they disengaged, which is unfortunate. Well, well, it appears like we won't be able to crush these guys in one fell swoop. We're going to have to work at it very hard. And you should not do that. I didn't tell you to do that. I told you to stop into this province. Uh, is that going to make them die? Or... That made them die. Ridiculous. Or maybe it didn't. I don't know. It appeared to be moving around. I think it was these two divisions. You're a very easy target though, so we can shorten you out quite easily. We still don't have any planes. And the name of supremacy is still in the favor of the enemy, which is incredibly annoying. So we're now pushing straight towards Addis Ababa, which is great. And we just need to keep these guys surrounded in order to destroy them eventually. And then continue our push eastward. Should be pretty easy. 
Where are you going? Not sure. You're just rotating like an idiot. Okay, sure. Uh, the justification on Tunisia is also progressing quite well. The rockets are going to strategic bomb into there. Just to make sure that they're assigned when the time comes. Yes, I would really love for the invasion to progress, but you only have 46 naval percent, or yeah, naval superiority percentage. How is our naval construction coming along? Hmm. Three per year in terms of light cruisers. We should also build corvettes, I think. Wait, we don't have the ability to build corvettes. What? I thought we did. Oh, we know we don't. So let's compare these three. Corvette, Frigate, and Destroyer. So Corvette, Frigate, and Destroyer. Frigate and Destroyer have the same requirement for manpower. Destroyers, however, appear to be better at almost everything. Even speed. Although they have the same range. Same HP. So in terms of durability, frigates are better. But in terms of attack, destroyers are better. And you're paying for that in extra production cost. Whereas corvettes, the frigates, let's compare, and HP is the one I'm looking for. It looks like corvettes are slightly lower than the frigates. And what's their evasion? That's the same. But they're much, much weaker in terms of actual uh, firepower. So I think that frigates would be the best for us. In terms of attack, we're pretty much already covered with our cruisers and our carriers, of course. And so the frigate would be pretty excellent, I think, for a... Um, yeah, yeah, I think it would be pretty excellent for our navy to get that. Because we just need a screen that's available in large numbers. We can also get ourselves an aircraft designer. Mm. All these people dislike us. So we're going to have to take Fin Mechanica. Which is for maritime patrol aircraft. Ugh, not exactly the best thing. Or we could grab ourselves a decisive battle. Advisor. Hmm. And we also have Material Designer. Sure, let's take that. Okay, now we are getting ready for our attack on Addis Ababa. And we're gonna try to do that right away. Looks like we'll be able to. Great. At the same time, we're gonna attack into Harar and hopefully end the war right here. We could also justify on Somaliland, but we need more polypower. And since we're already justifying on so many people, it's gonna be harsh to um, it's gonna be harsh to complete because it's gonna take more land eh, or more time. And good, there goes Ethiopia. They had a lot of more rise, which is good. And okay, so our army should now focus on Somalia. These Alpine Brigades need to train up because I don't think the enemy is going to be able to mount any more naval invasions so we can safely train our men. Mm. 
Now Somalia is going to be justified on in 30 days. And Tunisia is going to be justified on in 50. I wonder if this is going to end actually. Oh, well Algeria is a major. I did not know. I did not know indeed. So to get Ethiopia we're going to have to defeat Algeria too. Okay. And there's more naval invasions, of course, as we all knew. I'm gonna get the fighters back onto Libya. And finally, some of these naval battles appear to be resol being resolved in our favor for once. Not sure as to why only part of my fleet is engaging without the carriers. And without obviously the planes on those on set carriers. It's being very annoying. In fact, I think I'm gonna split up my fleet. I'm gonna make a secondary fleet. It's gonna be the same kind of composition as the first one. One of them is going to be in the Tyrrhenian Sea. And one of them is going to be in the Western Mediterranean. Just to improve my chances of finding any, any enemies. This is going to obviously decrease my naval supremacy overall. But, as you can see, it's already proving to come in and there's a riot, there's nothing we can do. And hopefully we can sink some enemy ships. Finally our aircraft are also into play, although there's a storm which is incredibly annoying. Sorting efficiency minus 10%. And finally, we get some results. So that is exactly what I wanted. Which should lower the enemy naval supremacy a little tiny bit, but not a lot, unfortunately. Because they still have tons of ships running about. Which should, should, should soon enough be disposed of. Looks like they decided to engage me basically in a knife fight at point blank range, and that did not go well for them. Our light cruisers just demolished them. They also have a light cruiser, and as soon as our aircraft enter the battle, that light cruiser should be focused down and destroyed. Although, uh, looks like all of their frigates and corvettes were sunk in the battle. So finally, we have naval supremacy, and we can invade them. Fucking finally. That took a while, and now that's a uh, rocket artillery. Hmm. Rocket artillery is then going to lead to upgrades for our motorized rocket artillery, so we want to get that as much as possible. So now we have our forces landed to Algeria. Now, our intelligence seems to suggest that, oh boy, they have submarines. Um, yeah, we need to put our guys on convoy escort, it would seem. Except for you, because you're fighting, so you cannot go on convoy escort yet. Now you can go on convoy escort. So hopefully, they're going to ride to the rescue of my convoys. Very good, they are doing that instead of letting the convoys die, and I don't think the submarines are going to be able to aggress upon my troop ships anymore. And in fact, one of their frigates was destroyed in the process. Generation fleet light mechanized, good. And that was that. Now, we can get the generation free light tank, and we can detach some ships Sparviero, Falco and Aquila, and these three ships should form a task group together under Felicio Angrisano, which is a ridiculous name by the way, and they're gonna move in, and they're gonna provide close air support. 
at the same time, just in case the Algerians think to use some of their air force, let's bring in some fighters. So that should help the landing group deal with any enemy resistance at the beachhead. I wonder how many planes will lose to accidents. Yep, look at that. Already. Already accident losses. Already two. But this is gonna pay off as our close air supports enter the battle for our gears and help our infantry and marines push on through to final victory against the hated Algerians. Look at that. Accident losses 15, accident losses 5. That's ridiculous. There's definitely something wrong with this. Look at that, all of my shit's dying. There's definitely something wrong with that. Oh well, now we're in Algeria. We have managed to get ourselves a foothold there and they might capitulate. Nope, they won't. How incredibly unfortunate. We're gonna have to kill them. So we're gonna fan out in all directions and make sure that they are surrounded and destroyed. Perfect. So their army is backed into a corner and now they can't do anything. We are going to rejoin our fleets. Actually, you're supposed to be here, it would seem. So be joined. Perfect. We're still producing outdated equipment. Of what kind, may I know? Generation 2 like mechanized. Generation 3. Sure. Right, because we just researched that. Which is good. And we still are lacking resources. Of course. As to be expected. Hungary and then Tungsten. And now you guys can just push on to Oran. While one of the divisions, the 1st Marine, can stay in Algiers just to prevent any flanking attacks from recapturing the capital city for the Algerians. And yes, uh, the rest of the Marine divisions should have a pretty straight path straight to Oran, the last remaining stronghold of the Algerian state. Which should spell out victory for us. In the meantime, your almost justified on and you are almost justified on as well good perfect excellent amazing you should stay there because you're very low and that's a fighter focus conquering order of africa bombers focus that armor division can just be kept there because we just need to take oran and that's going to be the capitulation of algeria so we also have the justification, let's declare war. We don't need any air support in this region. So we are just gonna manu er, automatically move in. We don't really need anything. Because the Somalian army is... Uh, well, they joined the CSTO. Somalian army is pretty bad. And that's the end for both Ethiopia and Algeria. And you're going to move back into Palermo. Good. You're going to be part of the garrisons. As well, you obviously should be. Now, why aren't you taking Mogadishu? I do not know. But you're going to take Mogadishu and put it into Somalia. Finally. Finally, the ugly miscreation that is known as Somalia is going to be destroyed. We're going to expand the garrison order to um, Libya and Algeria, to, so to North Africa in general. And that's going to be exactly 24 divisions that we're going to have soon enough. Good. So there goes Somalia. And that's going to be the end of it. 
Uh, so I'm going to see you in the next part of Italy. Yes, strong Italy. And wait, what? Like mechanized. Like mechanized. Good. Uh, going to see you in the next part. Hope you've enjoyed so far, Millennium Dawn. And I'll see you soon.